All right, so when we normally say problem statement, literally, most of us think that um, there's a, a problem like, as it were, uh, a big challenge somewhere that an organization is facing that has to be solved. Yes, that is also a problem. Uh, some people think that uh, something negative that has happened and that has to be corrected. So literally the way we see what problem is, we think that is, I mean, uh, a problem statement in what research, but problem statement is just the area you would want to study in your research. That is all. It is the broad area in that narrow topic you want to study. So you have a broad topic, maybe something on procurement, and you would want to study that area. So in that study, it could be that that area has a, a specific problem. A challenge may be issues of compliance might be a problem there. And maybe you want to not just to solve a problem, you want to just describe how something works. That is also a problem. Or you want to explore. There is some knowledge that is not known and you want to unearth that, that is a problem. So a problem statement can be an exploration into a topic, a description of the topic, or an explanation of an event that has happened. That could be a problem statement. So when we see it from that perspective, it is easy for us. And then where do we get problem statements? It could be that you've been working with an industry for a very long time and you understand how the industry works and you see that there's a challenge somewhere or you see that they are doing well, but they could improve on that and you want that knowledge to come back, uh, I mean, to come to the fore. That, that could be a problem statement, okay? Your experience is part, but that experience should be back with other industry that is facing that, that same, I mean, problem. But see, you could easily find problem statements, okay? When you take, I mean, peer reviewed articles or journals, go to that journal limitation and future studies. If you want to find topics and problems, you'll find it there. So in the work, you don't need to worry yourself trying to couch a problem and you're not, you don't get, you're not trying to get literature for, go to take publications that uh, in the, your area of study, go to uh, limitation of study or future, future recommendations for future study. And then whoever wrote that paper will tell you that, okay, this is where I got to, but I think that future studies should look at these areas. That is a, a solid problem because that is premised on, I mean, <laughs> someone's work that has been peer reviewed and you take that from there, nobody can shoot you down. So I, 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 we came up, myself and Nebo came up with this pyramid scheme, a pyramid uh, approach for a problem statement. And I just want to run through so that I'll jump onto what we want, uh, the, the, the business opportunity I want to share with you. Now, we are saying that if you have a problem, you want to draft a problem statement, first start with the specific problem. Now, specific problem here is the fact that if that problem you're talking about is exploring something, describing something or explaining something, where are you getting that thing from? I mean, which area of study does it belong to? Or is it for a case study organization or the entire country, a, a particular district? We want to know where the thing is happening. So we want to know the specific problem. So if I take Takradi Technical University as an example, and there are issues with maybe procurement compliance, okay? Then I would have to state the problem specifically, either indicating that, okay, um, Takrade Technical University's, I mean, annual report, 20 something, indicated that compliance, I mean, has maybe some issue, or you would have said that Compliance has been, I mean, a burden, okay, or has been an issue. I mean, that Takrade Technical University, I mean, has to address, or there has there are challenges with compliance with Takrade Technical University. Now, I'm saying that because you are pointing the problem specifically to the case study organization, and that should come with 
evidence, reference, okay, that that problem exists. There's a study, I mean, Dr. Noble's study, he said that, the, I mean, compliance has been an issue that the public procurement authority is dealing with in recent times. And he brings the, the reference. Of course, there was a, a integrity, Alliance Integrity Initiative that came out with that report. So if you are stating the problem, first of all, with the pyramid as approach, state the specific problem, give justification, give reference. Justification means reference that that problem exists. Because during your viva or your defense, if I'm on the panel, the first question I'll ask whether what is the specific problem? If you are not able to answer that, then what it means is that there's actually no problem. You are just, it's just gesculation. So state the specific problem. Now, when you have stated the specific problem, what it is, now you know that compliance is an issue that Takrade Technical University is facing. Now you move from Takrade now to the industry. Universities in Ghana, are they facing compliance issues? You can bring statistical, I mean, data in on compliance. And if you look at, there are always in the, uh, groups or uh, as, uh, associations or whatever, who they come out with reports. I believe universities, they also have their own as association, okay? It could be something from the group stating the statistics or some studies that has been done on universities, okay? where the issues of compliance were, were raised. So you move from the specific problem from the case study organization, and then you move the problem to the industry and similar other similar industries. And guess what? You can even insert graphs. You can insert tables. You can, you can, you can insert I mean, diagrams, pictures, whatever, just to drum home that, that problem that you are talking about really exist okay and it is not something that is just coming from i mean your head and you see the reason why probably you've been asked to look at problem statement if your problem is not that robust and solid what is going to happen is that they're going to shoot you down and more often than not what we also do is we instead of stating uh, in our problem statement we write that one i think we did all did that in our masters the introduction Chapter one, the introduction is about three sheets. The problem statement is half a sheet. It's the other way around. <laughs> it's the other, your introduction rather should be very brief. Because if you're a manager and they bring an, a, a report for you to read and they, they, you have three sheets as introduction, will you read? You won't read. Introduction means that give us just an overview. But the problem statement should rather be packed and you should write, a, I mean, a lot to convince the people that the problem exist so when you have done that if you have moved to the industry and i mean backed it with data statistical data tables and other diagrams then now you move that problem the discussion from that from from that particular industry to other industries and then make the problem global problem so compliance is not exclusive to i mean takradi university neither is it exclusive to the industry but there will be other studies i mean somewhere with uh, which might have i mean mentioned these problems okay compliance issues so you would have to use that to also support your discussion and you can look at i mean world bank their data can you look at imf other data global data that can support your problem to make to ground your problem very well. So what we, you would have done is you started from the uh, specific in, uh, company or case study organization, moved it to the industry. Now you are graduated, graduating it to what the global scene. All right. Now when you have done that, then there are other reports. You report current publications or journals that have sought to address. I mean, such problem. Because if you go to academic.ed right now and you hit compliance, you see a number of what? Articles, okay? And you would have to do that. And we advise here that don't use papers that are more than five years old, okay? 
currently they are even restricting this to about three years and a number of people are publishing so you do that and why are you stating these uh, why are you bringing these publications you are bringing them just to establish the fact that you are not the only one who has identified that this problem exists and this problem other people have tried to solve similar problem you are also adding your voice to the platter of literature that is existing so you need to state all of them here you state the problem you state uh, the, the purpose of the study and the findings so for instance i didn't go 2002 I mean, studied about non-compliance in public procurement delivery. He found that, or the study found that, then the findings, I mean, are stated. The next thing, furthermore, this guy also studied something on, and then the study found that. Then when you are done with that, in fact, the idea of bringing all these papers is to establish a literature gap, is to establish a methodological gap, which your study will fix, or, is to add on to the existing literature. I mean, a new literature from a different perspective, which, I mean, is very relevant to your study. And let me tell you, this aspect is the reason why you're doing your PhD, because you'll be known for that aspect of, uh, I mean, new findings or that gap that you'll be filling. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll be identified with. And then when you have done that, I reported this, then you use that same report now to establish, I mean, the need for the study. So I said that relate the problem to other similar problems globally and justify with some few studies uh, conducted in the industry. And then you state why your study is relevant. And it is relevant because perhaps these studies that have looked at compliance, they may have not looked at it from the te technical university perspective, or they were doing it in other areas of study disciplines, they might not have looked at it from civil engineering or from other aspects, but you are bringing that to the fore. That is also contribution what to literature. So this is in brief, this is about the, I mean, the problem statement using the pyramid approach. If I have the time to have any interaction with you, we will look at how this thing is written. Okay, and I'm talking about word for word. So when we pick your problem statement, I mean, we will look at how to gather, even how do you get the literature for this problem? Looking at this. Now I'll send the, there is a presentation I've done with respect to this and I'll send this to Ajingo. So um, I don't know if this was helpful. Ajingo, <laughs> if this was helpful, let me know. Uh, so, uh, the next time we have a meeting, we'll know. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Thank you, DKB, as I call you. Uh, oh, please, keep, uh, please keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. DKB, thank you very much. Uh, you have an, a, a total applause from the people in the class. Uh, we thank you. We hope that uh, we'll have this opportunity another time. And uh, you can always expatiate on what you want to teach us. And I know that after this, they will be, they will be looking for your contacts. And so uh, you are going to be disturbed, in fact, because uh, some of these things that you are opening up to us, uh, they are very new to us. And we think it's going to be very useful to us. So thank you once again. And I think you can go on with other things you want to say. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. So I'll link up with you. No, don't say they will disturb me. Um, we are suffering. PhD holders are in the minority. So there are a lot of pressure on us. So it's good we have more of you guys, I mean, in, in, in academia. So we could reduce that pressure. Other than that, we will die early. Okay. So whatever we are doing is our own interest. Ironically, other people don't want, I mean, you guys to come in, even though, so they want to delay you and all that. But I thank God that what you're doing is just three years. And with the guidance and the support we can give to you, I can tell you in a matter of two years, you should be done with your work so that you can do other things. All right, so guys, I'm gonna to present to you an opportunity, something I saw on the 11th of April, okay? And it was through one of my students. You may have seen this before. You may not have given, I mean, it a thought. Now, uh, you know that um, COVID-19 has taught us a lesson. In fact, 
I'm also a lecturer, and for some time I have not been paid. I just saw uh, uh, four months we've not been paid. I just saw one month salary, I mean, dropping in. But because I've been doing other things, I mean, I was able to sustain myself. And uh, even though we want to get a PhD and give our, our life a facelift, the fact of the matter is that the PhD will not make you a rich person. Let's get that at the back of our, your, your mind. It wouldn't make you, I mean, education was just going to, I mean, help you earn a living, okay? But it's self-development that will earn you a fortune. So what I'm presenting to you is what I've seen. And I, I just want to share, I shared with Ajingo and he said, we should do this here. And just a few min minutes, I'll be done. I'm going to present to you an opportunity to save up to 75% in your next hotel accommodation. The fact that you're able to save experience over 5,000 four or five star vacations uh, where you're going to pay a fraction of the cost. And the fact that you're able to earn residual income up to $50,000 working from your phone. Now we are in the mobile entrepreneur, I mean, era where you need to make money from your what, your mobile phone. You see this virtual world we've been in is something that some of us knew I, if you care to know, I started the port automation project with the, then the e-port, and then when the new government came, they turned it to, into paperless port. Now, I was part of the committee that drafted the roadmap for the, the, the implementation of the paperless port that, that the vice president convened. But I started that project because I knew that in 10 years time, that was 2010, we started somewhere to 2014 or so, that in 2000 and, uh, 2020, there will be a new wave. Every 10 years, something happens, all right? Check on 2030 on YouTube, you see what will happen. 2040, 2050, you see what will happen. And these estimations are certain. So some of us knew that we we're going to go in the virtual world, but we didn't know that uh, uh, it was going to true, be true COVID-19. Now, that is a big lesson that we've been told. So everything now is online. All right. So if you want to get see how to make money, you rather get online and see how you can take advantage of your mobile phone and make money. All right. Jack Ma, Alibaba, uh, dot, uh, dot com guy, uh, this Facebook guy, even Jeff, best who, the Amazon guy, they all made their money through online. OK, so that's what I'm saying now. As the coronavirus epidemic listen, reshapes the world, we this, wanted to cover two specific topics. Amazing. I want you to listen to this short video. It's very short and just to set the premise for the presentation. So just enjoy. As the coronavirus epidemic reshapes the world, we wanted to cover two specific topics, amazing travel deals and helping people make extra money from home. If neither of these interest you, no worries. Thanks for stopping by. So let's jump right in. Short term quarantines are loosening and many of our travel suppliers are now offering amazing deals up to 75% off. Using our travel platform is easy. Whether for business or personal, domestic or international, log in using your member ID and password, filter by date and biggest savings, select and book your choice of hotel, flight, rental car, excursion, home rental or vacation package. It's super simple. And with subscriptions as low as $25 a month, it's just like the Netflix of travel. And lastly, as our way of saying thank you for spreading the word, refer four friends, family members, clients, or contacts who subscribe using your personal referral code, and we will waive your monthly fees. So to handle the inevitable surge in upcoming travel, we've developed a simple online system that makes it easy for anyone to share our platform with others. As an independent rep, you can show a recorded video, demo your online portal, answer a few questions, and earn a marketing bonus every time someone subscribes using your personal or your team's referral code. There are, of course, no guarantees of income. What you get out of it is what you put into it. We have reps who've simply enjoyed our travel product all the way up to those making a full-time residual income. So as we wrap this up, Remember, this video was designed to simply gauge your interest level. If now isn't a good time for you, no worries. Thanks for checking it out. If this does intrigue you, let's schedule a private demo to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to serving you.
All right. So we, um, I just want to talk to you about the travel industry. Now, until now, the net worth of the travel industry was 8.1 trillion. Now, 8.1 trillion is huge. That is annual contribution to global GDP. Now, now the official record we are having is 9 trillion, even a pandemic period. Now, if you aggregate computers, automobiles, wellness, and Hollywood, it doesn't even match up to 50% of the net worth of the travel industries. So if there's any industry to look at in times of this pandemic, which is resilient, then is the travel industry. Now, the company that has developed a concept around the travel industry is called World Ventures. Now in World Ventures, we make 1111. The company is situated in Plano, Texas in uh, United States. The building you see is the headquarters. Now in 5,000, is the American fastest growing private company. And to talk about credibility, we are rated 779, that's top 15% we are there. In the area of direct selling, we are part of the global 100 companies, rated 27. Now you can, you can just Google the number one travel and tour company in the world, and you should see dream trips from World Ventures. Now we are dotted across 43 countries and these countries we have country offices fiscal offices and you can see from australia austria botswana romania even in russia we are represented and in africa we are predominantly in the southern and the eastern part in west central and north we are not represented so we are saying that now is the time to become part of the pioneering agenda so that we will establish our footprint in I mean, Africa, specifically Ghana, and then maybe uh, broaden our tentacles to uh, the central and northern part of uh, Africa. Now, for more for credibility, we've won the, uh, the World Travel Award so many times, back to back from 2013 and 2019. Note that the World Travel Award is the most prestigious award in the travel industry. 50 wins in 15 years, the company was established in 2005. Now, our flagship product is Dream Trips, and Dream Trips is just a lifestyle travel club. So that's what the company does. Now, with over 1 million members worldwide, we are able to secure contract with over 5,000 destinations, and we buy these trips from them. And these are resort centers, exotic places. We buy these trips from them using the bulk buying strategy. We call it economics of scale or law of size. So when we buy it, we are able to then bid the price and pass on the benefits to the members. So for instance, we can go to uh, a place like Kempiski in Ghana and then maybe say that we want to buy four days and three nights. We are buying full capacity, okay, for three times in a year. We are paying you now what is your best price. Of course, we are able to, I mean, pay down the price and then we spread it over a period of five years for members to benefit. So these trips that we have secured are now uploaded on this, I mean, app, which is the Dream Trips app, the world greatest what app. Now, as a member, there are three levels that you join as a member if you want to become a member. And there's a gold, platinum, and titanium. Now, let's talk about how you're able to save up to 75% on your next hotel accommodation. Fact of the matter is that if the hotel cost is $100, you're paying $25. And that's what we are saying. So we did a comparison with booking.com and then our booking engine. So this is one of such comparison. On the 2nd of March, 2020 this year, now you have two guests, I mean, going to sleep in a, in a hotel in London called Hitton on Park Lane for five nights. Now booking.com is giving $1625 as against our Dream Trees booking engine, $841. Now you are saving a whooping $784. Now money that they save is always what earned. Now, the, the second point is that you're able to experience over 5,000 vacation where you're gonna pay a fraction of the cost. And that brings us to dream trips. So what are dream trips? Now, dream trips are four or five star vacations at exclusive member price only. Now, company handles all your backend bookings and your reservations. Your subscription, now listen carefully, your subscription covers up to eight people in your household or your friends. Now, you have over 5,000 trips that are offered to you to 163 countries in a year, 5,000 trips. Now, beyond that, there's also something called dream breaks. So 
for some of you who are doing a course in South Africa where you have to fly and go there, you could leverage on Dream Breaks and then you can just go and then have four or five star uh, I mean, uh, accommodation and sleep in. You, you, you don't need to worry yourself. You can use Dream Breaks and you can also do any time escape. Any time escape, the, the name implies. You can escape at any time, go and then relax with your loved ones or yourself anywhere. Beyond this, you book, you can book hotels, flight and rent cars and all that. Now, as a member, now let's also listen to this carefully. Any dollar you pay to the company comes back to you in the form of points. One point is equal to one dollar. All right. So you are paying $150 as a gold member. Let's say that is economy. Okay. $150. The company credits you with 100 points. And one point is equal to one dollar. So they give you hundred dollars in essence. Now the person who signed you up is also given hundred dollars, that hundred point. So you pay one fifty, but two hundred points are given out for the person who brought you. And these points can be used immediately to book a trip. Okay. Now, as a policy of the company, they would want to ensure that at least you make one annual trip. And for that purpose, you are saving for the three dollars every month. And this money comes to you at the end of your anniversary as 516 what dollars in the form of points to travel. You know, you have eight people to travel. So if you don't want to travel, allow the seven people and the others what book a trip for someone to travel and take your money. Now, with platinum, you have more elite offerings that you use, more elite amenities. You are paying three. So let's take platinum as business class. You are paying $300 one time and you're accumulating $200 immediately. It comes in the form of points. The person who brought you also gets 200 what, points to travel, okay, immediately. And then you save $75 towards your future travel and you get $900 at the end of the year. You can assess that money and then travel with it. Now, titanium members are those who live in exclusivity. That's the top of our membership. Now, they have, pri they have credit to rent private jets and yachts. And they have also global visa support. Titanium members do not go to embassies for visa. They sit in their comfort of their homes and then they get these services through the work of a concierge to do for them. Now they pay $1,000 one time and they accumulate $800 immediately in the form of point. The person who brought them get $300 and then they save $200 every month. And at the end of the year, assess $2,400 to travel. Now, when I saw this, I was good to go. In fact, I nearly exited the presentation because I've been traveling outside to present papers. And for each of the trips, you don't sell, uh, spend anything less than between $3,000 to $4,000. Okay, tickets and accommodation and everything. So when I saw this, it was good for me. But the question was then, what is the company gaining from this? There should be something, there should be a secret somewhere. Now, the fact of the matter is that when they secure this contract, uh, I mean, these trips that they buy from them, they put their margins on it. So in World Ventures, when you travel, that's where they make their money. That's why they don't care, even if you are, they are paying your subscription and you are benefiting from the, the reduction in price, yet they are willing to give you your money back to travel because they make more money when you do your travel. Now, this was okay with me until they said that refer four people and pay no more. So just imagine DSTV tells you that if you bring four people, your monthly subscription, you pay no more, okay, in your subsequent month. So if you, had, you did gold, if you bring four gold people, you don't pay your monthly fees for life, all right? So then it means you are going to, I mean, <laughs> You are, you are in World Ventures, you've gotten four people. At the end of the year, if you're a gold member, you are getting $516 free to travel. If you're a platinum member, you are getting $900 free to travel. A titanium member, you are getting $2,400 worth to travel. I mean, free of charge because you brought four people. So refer for and pay no more. Now, so now these are some of the deals. Now, if you can check online, standard pricing for hotels in Ghana, okay, four five-star hotel, I mean, for just one night, Okay, you get between two hundred and fifty to four hundred and fifty dollars. Now you are you are on this vessel from California to Mexico and back. We call it the Baja Mexico trip, and you are paying sixty nine dollars for five days, four nights. Sixty nine dollars. See, you have entertainment activities. You have all inclusive dinner attached to it, and then your trip to an island in Thailand called Phuket Island. You are paying two five two dollars. 
for four days and three nights. You are getting Thai cultural show 24 hours, uh, a soft drink, food day, Phuket tour, airport transfer, speedboat transfer, all these are included. And guess what? The points that was given to you, if you're a gold member, you can further reduce this by what, $40. Platinum, $60. Now, Atlantis De Palm is a place in Dubai we all admire and we want to, I mean, just go and sleep there. I, I've been to Dubai six times, but see, I've never dared to sleep in this hotel because the standard price, no, non-peak non periods, is $600. Peak periods, $1,000. Now, you are doing five days, four nights. You are getting full day tour of Dubai, which is inclusive desert safari experience, entrance to the Aqua Venture Water Park and the Lost Chambers. You are getting cultural exchange with Emirati community, and you are paying eight five nine dollars for five days, four nights. Guess what? As a gold member, you reduce this figure by two hundred dollars. Platinum three hundred, titanium four hundred dollars. Now, Victoria Force is one of the seven wonders of the world. And you are doing four days, three nights, and you are paying three, five, four dollars. And you can discount this by two hundred and seventy dollars. In essence, for this trip, you are paying eighty-four dollars. And we have a flight booking engine to take care of our, your tickets, even though ticket is not our main thing. But see, the, the good thing is that we have a technology called Race Shrinker. That even when you have booked for your flight, flight and paid, if there's a reduction in what price. That that uh, that that reduction. That uh, Ajingo, you want to say something? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, we have heard you, and uh, we want to also listen to how we can benefit financially because fine, some of us will be traveling along uh, uh, within our time when we are doing a PJ. PJ. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 just transitioning to the financial part. We want to know how much we can put in our pocket if we join some of this. <laughs> So I'm, I'm moving to the financial part, okay? So as you just said that, um, let's look at the financial. To just to tell you, former President Kofo is a titanium member. I have done this check, and uh, as a PhD holder, I need to do that. Now, just, just let me say this. Now, you know Robert Kiyosaki. I mean, he is one of the, I mean, guys, bestseller, read that for that. Now, he stands on World Venture stage and then make that such an instructive statement that the richest men in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else look for work, okay? So the richest people look for work. Warren Buffett said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you, you work until you die. So let's talk about the money. Now, we know that the income source, we are all, I, I believe we are all salaried workers. So that income source takes care of the expenditures, but Hey, if the income source is gone, then it means we have a problem. So we are saying that in this recession period that we are about to face, that's the expert has said is going to be 10 times more than what happened in the, in the, uh, the economic meltdown in 2008. We are providing to you an opportunity to earn up to $50,000 now. The company, remember, the company is into direct selling. So that's what they do. It is the same members they require, if it's optional, that you become a representative. And then you then become a mouthpiece of the company so that their cost of advertisement, that money will be used to pay the members and empower them to also want to travel as well. So that's the whole concept. And that is where we are saying that you are earning up to $50,000 from your phone. So Ajingo says, as you go straight to this. So how do you do that now you are buying a franchise from world ventures and it's fifty dollars fifty dollars one time and you are getting a back office this back office give you quick coaches and tools to be able to do your business and you are maintaining it it's a website with 25 dollars monthly now this money should even come from the process you make from the business so how do you get paid now that's the money part now you are doing a simple activity now we have developed a formula that can help you, I mean, gain your financial freedom. Now, you are not selling any product. Our product are the beaches, are the resource centers. It is a service. We are not selling any product. What you are literally making is you are making a daily list and you are inviting people to the Zoom presentation. We are going to do the presentation on your behalf. When you also get to that level, you do the presentation. Now, if they accept and they are excited and they sign up, to join World Ventures and to travel, you are paid. So 
for one activity you do, you leverage on six multiple paychecks. The first one is direct commission. Now, if you sign up a gold member, you get $15, platinum 50 and titanium $100. Now let's see how the other commissions kicks in, okay? So for a platinum member, when you sign one member, you get $50. Now, if you sign three members, you get what? $150. Now, if you put in another three, that gives you $300. This should have been enough. But World Ventures has another, I mean, compensation plan called Cycles. That the fact that we are operating a binary system and you have your left leg and your right leg, anytime you have one platinum on your left or two gold, or one platinum on your right or two gold, you earn what $50 cycle. Potential for cycle alone is up to $25,000 a week. And beyond that, you are paid $200 rising star bonus because you brought this in a month. You also have a wings and wheels lifestyle bonus of $200. For bringing six people, you are earning $850. I got six people in, my, in 24 hours, so I earned this money. And now you remember you refer for and pay no more. These guys may also want to bring other people. That gives you, what, $1,000 for having 12 members in your team. Now, the team is made up of you and the people you brought and those that they also brought into the infinity. And people that you joined before they joined, they are not in your, uh, I mean, you didn't sign them, but they also fall in your team and you leverage on them. For any thousand dollars, you are more richer than 50% of the world population. You understand? Now, beyond this, if you were to be working in the bank, beyond this, they would have said that that is it. You earn your salary, you go. But World Ventures is now making you a shareholder. Even though this is not true initial public order, but they are saying that for the network you are maintaining, for the people that you are maintaining, even though you've gotten your thousand dollars, they have introduced something they call residual income. Now, let me talk about residual income. Now, it is that type of income that you do something one time and you leverage on that thing into perpetuity. So Michael Jackson played the song trailer. He's dead and gone. Now, if you check his pre-tax earnings as of 2019, that was $4.2 billion. But he's dead and gone. And that's royalties. World Ventures is saying that your share is the number of people through you who have joined World Ventures. And for that, they are going to pay you as that team grows. So a team of 60, whether you brought them or whether your other guys brought them, you are earning $600 into perpetuity. Active members of six, uh, 60, you are earning $600 every month. I'm asking that money might be significant. I don't know about you. But for 180 members, you brought six, but the multiplying effect, you are earning $2,000. $400,000, $5,000, $910,000, dollars $1,820,000. And then a team of 3,000 uh, 3, people, you are earning $50,000. Now, now understand, I am at the level of $5,000 every month. And that's what, when uh, my brother came, I showed to him, all right? There are other evidences that I can show you. I don't want to bore you down on this, but what I want to say is that if you reach the international marketing director, you get a car bonus of $1,500 every month and then a house bonus of $3,000 every month. Now, because this is a close presentation, I can tell you this. Now, Ghana has produced the fastest IMD, international marketing director, in since 15 years of the company's existence. You know, Ghana, anywhere we go, we do, we do things. And this is in the name of Nicholas Ekordi, the policy think tank, and he is into convening meetings with parliamentarians and all that. This guy quit his job like two months ago. In eight months, 20 days, he hit the top run now, earning $50,000. For which reason they are going to set up the country office in Ghana? This is the time to join. Because this year, there will be one dream trip in Ghana. And that dream trip will bring about 100,000 people in this country. And then early, I mean, January, at early first quarter, they will be establishing the country office. So you see, travel is something that we all would want to. We are not traveling because we don't have the money. But if we have, we are traveling for less, that will be good. Now, let me talk about our credibility furthermore. Now, we have partnered with MasterCard and VisaCard. So five times we are paid in a month, four times every week. Yesterday, I received my payment, okay? 
And then every 15th of the subsequent month, you receive your, I mean, uh, residual income. And for a company, which is a private company, to partner with MasterCard and Visa Card, you should know, I mean, the credibility. So there are no kind of guarantees regarding income. This is not a savings and loan or a bank where an investment where you bring money, they double it for you. No, you are joining a traveling club to travel the world and create memorable memories for yourself. And beyond that, the, you are becoming a representative, referring people to join. And once they join, you are paid. That is sim simply how this concept works. So that is all about this. And just to show you, um, if you combine the business representative and the membership, so you can stay as a member, business representative, you pay just $50 in addition, and you get a back office to work. So for gold is $200, platinum is $350, and titanium is $1,050. Remember that if you get your four in the first month, the calendar month, you waive off your monthly savings. That savings is your own money towards your future travel. So you waive it off, and then <coughs> you maintain your website with the $25, which will come from how you make from what the business. Now, I tested this, the system. I wanted to see if it is all real. So if you look at this trip, this is somewhere in January 2021. And for me, I don't want people to tell me what it is. I want proof myself. So I decided to book for uh, Atlantis Depart. And this is what you see. The cost of the trip is 2,458 for double occupancy. So I'm going with my wife. Now this, if you check the Atlantis Depart, their website, it is higher than this. So that one aside. But because I'm a member, I had accumulated what we call travel dollars, which I have converted to Rovia bags. I could use it to what? Buy tickets or do anything. I can even redeem that 10 back in cash, but I decided to use it. And that is 1,750 points. Now you remember we talked about the dream trace point. I've applied 858 points and I'm paying how much? $123 for a trip for nights, five days, a place that I couldn't have slept when I went to Dubai. I'm going to this place and traveling for free because the 123 dollars, I'm going to pay with the money that World Ventures has paid me. And that's the value you get. With that said, I just want to bring my, my, my discussion to a close because of time. If you have any questions, you can ask. But if you want to join, I mean, I will send you the form and then you join. I'm going to assist you. Once we are all in academia, let's understand that. You see, Matt Morris talks about three things that should create financial freedom for yourself. Knowledge and skill. Yeah, we have it. We are, we are all educated. For you to do PAD, then you have masters. Effort and commitment. We are around this time, even when it's raining, we are learning. So we are not lazy people. We are very serious people. But see, the last one is financial vehicle. Humbly, let me ask you, have you seen any lecturer in this life who has ever been rich before? Have you seen one before? You just ask yourself, or any salaried worker that has been rich before? No, no. No. What is actually happening to us if we do not, you see, Albert Einstein says that insanity is doing something the same way and thinking that you will get different results. So if we've been doing this, and when we started, I think some guys said that, oh, I don't even have money to sign up. Then I told them, you see, that is the more reason why you should do this. That having worked for 15 years, it will never happen to you that you cannot raise even $200 or $350. The reason why this has to be corrected, because other than that, you go back to be doing the same. So we need to change so that we can create, I mean, that financial freedom for ourselves. Others will say that network marketing, me, I don't like. But let me read this thing to you, so I'll, I'll close. Whatever industry you find yourself, you cannot run away or do away with referrals. In fact, everything is network marketing, everything. To me, it is called network market. To the church, it is called evangelism. To bankers, it is called marketing. To the media, it is called advertisement. To politicians, it's campaign. No business or industry can survive without referral of people. People are the reason that every uh, uh, industry exist. Just as bus conductors, uh, drivers depend on passengers. And just as school institutions depends on school uh, students, you have churches depend on what? Members, banks depend on customers, politicians. 
depend on voters. Market men and women depends on traders. Hospital depends on patients. Betting company, companies depend on what stakers. So whatever industry you find yourself, you cannot do away with what referrals. What we are saying is that you are using your phone to do post things, then data, you are not being paid. Use it to do this and just get paid. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, you can pose them and then I can address them. Thank you. And Ajengo and the team, thank you so much. I'm privileged to have spent this time with you. It's an honor for have this high profile personality to speak to. I'm grateful.